For the renovation issue, I produced a photo shoot which really focused on adding architectural detail to your home. They're easy DIY projects and they're super inexpensive. I staged this shot as a bedroom which was wrapped in a warm light, including the breast of the fireplace. Using artificial brick, some simple molding, we've applied three-sided box which leans against the wall and then the fireplace goes in front of it. I then added a really deep crimson rug and also used that color as accent. In most builder basic spaces, trim work around a window can be quite simple. I wanted to add a sash without actually taking off the existing molding or spending a lot of money. I started by making a stencil of a window sash that I really liked. I then traced it on the wall and filled it in with paint. The key here was to use a color that was not quite white. You can take a darker color and slightly outline the edge. It kind of creates a faux shadow and gives the faux molding a bit of depth. For this shot, I chose a beautiful shade of green which I carried onto the baseboard and then repeated in the drapery. I then added some more traditional furniture including a linen upholstered chair, a black painted side table and then some hits of colour. This next runner cheat was probably my favourite, not only because of the overall look but just how easy and inexpensive it was to do. Instead of opting for a really expensive hardwood floor, I used plywood. The plywood was only $25 for a 4x8 sheet which basically covers 32 square feet. It's then laid down using floor glue, so no nails needed, and you can put it right over an existing subfloor. The dark colour is key because it helps hide any of the imperfections that's often found in plywood. I love how the dark ebony stain really contrasts with the creamy white walls. I then added a pair of stools and a beautiful vintage Persian style runner. With a bit of art, this is a beautiful entryway. Another great way to add architectural detail is by beefing up your baseboards. Most baseboards are about 3 inches, so instead of removing those completely, you can add to them. Start by taking a piece of trim molding or panel molding and measure up about 2 inches. Apply that panel molding there, and then, to add to the existing trim, put a piece of quarter round. The final step is to paint it all out one colour. I love how it looks with this rich dark floor and this beautiful white wall. Renovating doesn't always mean large-scale projects or spending a lot of money. By taking on some of these easy DIY projects, you can add some great architectural detail and really transform your space.